Meet the South Australian Heat. They're a bunch of tough, fast and ruthless young athletes and they play touch football. Everyone here plays in the under 18s. I started playing at school, um, like at high school. Before that I had no idea what the game was, never heard of it, never seen anything to do with it. Um, and my teacher said I should go out and give it a go. Kaylee didn't know any of the rules when she started, but it didn't take her long to pick them up. So to start the game you'd have um, the player with the ball starting in the middle of the field and you've got six defenders ten metres back on their ten metre line. Uh, the ball is placed on the ground and you, of course, have to tap the ball to start the game with the referee's call. Once the game starts, the attacking team has to make its way down to the touchline. They have six touches. That means six chances to get a try. If they don't score in that time, the ball is turned over to the other team and they get six touches. It's kind of like rugby, which is where touch actually started. Back in the 60s, touch started as a training technique for rugby league. It was popular with injured or retired players because there's no tackling allowed, so it was softer on their bodies. Over time, its popularity increased and now it's played at a state, national and international level. It's a really tiring game. It's a lot of fitness to, like, that you work towards when you go to tournaments. These girls just got back from a tournament and won the developing state final for the second year in a row. They're a bit young to play for Australia, but some of their coaches have. Yeah, there's an international, there's a World Cup being held in Coffs Harbour in a couple of years' time. So Australia usually do well in there, so good to go up and have a watch against uh, New Zealand to be our main opponent. The Touch Football World Cup started back in 1988 and Australia has dominated almost every year. There's a men's division, a women's division and even a mixed division. In 2011, 26 countries took part in the World Cup, but more are expected to join by 2014. After learning the rules from Kaylee, I decided to give the game a go. OK, so the only thing I don't understand about touch is how to throw the ball. Can you show me the technique? Yeah, of course. So, I mean, you're always keeping one hand at the front, one hand at the back. Um, you're not twisting your whole body like yeah, <laughs> or like twisting the ball like this, all right? You're trying to keep them together and you're just going to let it glide straight out of your hands. Yeah, okay. but keep your arms relaxed and probably out a bit straighter so that you just like normal passing the ball, but of course, on a different angle. That's pretty good. Okay, well, I might need a bit of practice before I get to their level. For Mackenzie, touch footy is in her blood. My family has played touch footy for a long time. Like, my mum has played since she was tiny, and my dad's played rugby, my sister plays both, and everyone in my family has played touch or rugby at some point. It's pretty easy to get out and try it, if you know the right way to do it. So if a kid wanted to get involved in touch, what's the best way to go about it? Um, I guess you go on the internet and search. I mean, Touch Football Australia website would be a good place to start. They list, they would have a list of all the places. Um, so yeah, get, get in local. I mean, there's, there's always um, a place down the road you could go play and stuff like that, a local park and stuff. So yeah, definitely just go ahead and do that. So if you're interested in touch footy, get out there and give it a go. If you put in time and a lot of practice, soon you'll be untouchable too.